Okay, so this one is in the key of E. And we'll start with a bass note E. Might as well start there, right? And we'll grab a D triad on top of that. The D triad is D, F sharp, and A. But in this inversion, we'll have A, D, and F sharp. And that's at the seventh fret on the D, G, and B strings. And when you play that together with an E in the bass that's functioning as an E7 suspended, uh, you may see that as E7 sus4 or E11. Um, you may also see it as D slash E, which is a D triad with E in the bass. Okay, I'm using my index finger here, my first finger, on those three notes. And then I'll move that from there, from D triad, up to an E triad. I should also mention that I'm using the pick to grab the low note E there, but when I play the triads, what I'm doing is a bit of hybrid picking. So I'm using the pick on the D string, and then I'm plucking in an upward direction with my middle finger and ring finger on the right hand. So the pick goes downward, and at the same time, my middle and ring finger of the right hand, M and A, if you're a classical player, they pluck in an upward direction towards my palm at the same time. All right? So there's that E7 sus4 chord, or D slash E. From there, I'm going up to an E triad, and that's also plucked in the same manner. Pick goes down, middle and ring finger come up towards the palm. From there, we'll grab an A triad, which is um, A, C-sharp, and E, but in this inversion we have C-sharp, E, A. C-sharp's at the 11th fret on the D string. E is at the 9th fret on the G string. And A is at the 10th fret on the B string. Again, using hybrid picking to pluck there. Back to an E triad. And then we'll grab a short little chord stab on the notes B and E at the 12th fret. So the whole first half of this rhythm groove sounds like this. From there, we'll play the same thing again. But instead of doing the little chord hit, we'll come back to the D triad. All together. OK, so that's the first half of this extended blues. And this is what we'll play on the E chord. When we go to the four chord, um, which will be an A in this particular instance, we'll grab an A bass note with the pick, and then we'll grab this really nice inverted D chord with A in the bass. So this would be a D slash A. And we'll also continue to use this hybrid picking approach with this. F sharp is at the 4th fret on the D string, A is at the 2nd fret on the G string, and D is at the 3rd fret on the B string. From there we'll go to an A triad, which is just good old fashioned A chord. So we're going to kind of move in between these two chords, uh, this D triad. And that's the move going between the D and A, all with A in the bass. Now, you don't need to let the bass ring. The bass player will handle that. But that's the idea. And then back to the one chord, same pattern. For the five chord, it's going to be a B chord. We'll grab the note B, low B. Um, you can either grab that at the seventh fret on the low sixth string or at the second fret on the B string. Doesn't really matter. And we have this same kind of triad move here. So this is an E triad going to a B triad. Same move as the A chord. Then we'll go back down to A. Stay there. Back to the one. 
Okay, that's the whole thing. Let me try it again slow, just so you hear the whole thing all together, okay? Back to one. Five. Four. Stay there. Back to one. And that takes you back to the top. All right, so this is a great soul groove from Marv Tarplin. And again, this is from Ain't That Peculiar, uh, which was a big hit for Marvin Gaye. And this one is doubled with a piano, which may come in handy for you if you're in a duo or trio situation where you're the only chordal instrument. You need to fill up some space. So a groove like this will really help you with that help you fill out the sound, and help you get hired. All right? Hope you dug it. <laughs>